Stay with us. A shocking confrontation with a six-year-old student caught on video. And now the kindergarten teacher could be facing assault charges. This happened at Riverdale Elementary School in Mount Blanchard, just south of Finley. 13 ABC's Christine Long just got back from there, and she spoke with the boy's father live with What's New at 6. Christine? Diane Lee, the boy's father, is sharing the surveillance video with us, as well as the Hancock County Sheriff's Office. Anthony Nelson is angry. The school district suspended the teacher for 10 days without pay. He believes she should never set foot in a classroom again. Every time I see that video, I want to walk away. This is surveillance video of six-year-old Ian Nelson. The kindergartner is walking down the hall and goes into the bathroom. Moments later, you can see his teacher, Barb Williams, greets him as he exits the bathroom by grabbing him and lifting him off the floor against the wall twice. It's a confrontation on Wednesday, May 7th, captured on the school surveillance camera system. I would love to rip her apart, but it's, that's not right. Ian's father, Anthony Nelson, wants William's teaching license revoked. If I went to the school and I were to do to her what she did to him, I'm going to be in jail. Nelson says the district told him Ian was in trouble because he went to the wrong bathroom. I wouldn't even expect an adult to be treated like that, let alone a six-year-old child. The superintendent of Riverdale Local School says Williams has been a teacher in the district for 14 years. She has a great evaluations, good teachers, you know, parents request her. The district suspended the kindergarten teacher for 10 days without pay the last 10 days of the school year. These things shouldn't happen, you know, at, at our school. That's why we had to take the disciplinary action. You know, we're, you know, it, it should, you, you send us your children and we're, we're not, that's not what we're supposed to do. Ian's dad says his son never told him what happened in that hallway and doesn't want to talk about the video. I'm sad for my son and how he feels. I'm angry, so angry, and would love to see retribution out of this. The Hancock County Sheriff's Office is investigating what happened in that school hallway. Once completed, the report will be handed over to the prosecutor's office to determine if criminal charges will be filed. We were unable to reach Williams tonight for comment. Reporting live, Christine Long, 13ABC, Action News.